the hour with us in the CI kitchen, just cooking up a storm. It's Jacob Dickey. Okay, it, everyone that's passed through here, oh, it smells so good. Yeah, I can actually cook, right? You can. You can. You're a keeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's remind everybody kind of how simple this, this recipe actually was to throw yeah, together. Yeah, so we took our chicken breasts and we just cut them and filleted them, butterflied them, marinated them for overnight in Italian dressing. And then I've been putting them on the grill here as we go. Are and we I'm ready sure to... filleting them maybe cuts down on the cooking time a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Here we go. See how they're, they're nice and charred and all that juice around them there. The smell is incredible. And they're going to be cooked all the way through and ready to go. You can meal okay. prep these too. These will be great frozen, you know, cook a bunch of them, all 13 of them for the $11. Yeah. Put them in the freezer or you feed the kids for a couple meals. A lot of great stuff here. I've got a pan already going. So we're just going to transfer these off because they're ready to go. And we've got to make some sandwiches, don't we? Yeah, what are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for my, here they are. Oh, there, there you go. go. Look at my, uh, so you see the ba back side as well, getting nice and caramelized and brown nice. there. Nice. Just transfer that on over. And uh, just, you're just soaking in all that flavor. I'm so excited for this, like. I don't have enough words to say <laughs> how ready I am to eat. Well, I know so many people are just ready for grilling season. So this is a super simple recipe. You're right. It could not have been easier, like two ingredients. Basically. And if it's raining out, you can do it inside in the George Foreman, just like we're doing here, or stay nice and cool if it's right. too hot, like okay. some of the record we eat. Got. You've got some great condiments here well, to top do. your burger. Well, but why do we have a sweet potato again? Oh, I, I was going to make some sweet potato fries. I recommend, you know, just chop oh. this up, throw us in the air fryer, but I just didn't have time to. Okay, well, you know, we've got... we've got about the heat. Yeah, 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 I know. We've got plenty here definitely to go with. You've got some pickled onion. We do, yeah. So we've got some of the toppings right here. Uh, we've got the bun and then start off with some leaf lettuce. That's going to help catch some of that grease and keep the bun from getting a little soggy. There surely isn't that much grease, though. No, there's not. More juice than anything. Yes, See all like the that juice that's on there? These are just dripping with juice here. So we're going to take one and fit it on there. Just put it on that sandwich like so. We got one for you and, of course, one for me. <laughs> I'm never passing up on a free meal, right? <laughs> right. Uh, which one do I want here? I'll take this nice big, this big one I'm going to take. Yeah. Out. So we'll fit that on there. What I've done is you've got the lettuce. In fact, on this side here, you can see that dressing just dripping off there. It looks so delicious. Um, we're going to use some of our toppings. You can top this however you want. Of course, the classic way is pickle. I've got a plate here of some different things. Uh, the classic thing you can do is take some pickle, put it on there, and uh, you want pickle in yours? Of course. So we'll put a couple of slices of pickle. I'm going to pass it. Oh, it's sliding right off. It there. is, yeah. It's so juicy and delicious there. A couple of pickles, and then I've got these pickled onions. You want to try a couple onions? Sure, onion? why not? Let me just put a few on there. That's going to add a really tangy flavor to it that I think you're really going to find Load it up really there. well uh, with that. And then, of course, I'm a big cheese guy. So we're going to slap that on there. And then I've got on my bun, I don't know if you can see it very well, I've got some garlic aioli on there. You can use whatever you want. I've got here options. I've got my hot honey chicken sauce from the bowls we made a few weeks ago. Yes. I've got the Chick-fil-A sauce. I've got the others. That is beautiful. Yeah, isn't that good? Serve it with Look some chips, you. apple what? sauce. I don't know if you can see the final product, or I'll put this one here while Heather eats yeah. it. And uh, I wish I had enough time to eat this, but they just said 30 seconds in my ear. So, oh, well. so you have to trust, I'm, I guess, right? And I do trust you because you've She'll never put made it on her Facebook page that you know, how it She's is. never made anything that I have not liked. That's so good. That's I will I will compliment you there. And we always love when you come, no matter whether it's a well, crock pot, mason jar, or sheep pan. Yeah, all of them. All of we the above. Now it's the George Foreman. Exactly. Right. We can't wait to see what you, you whip up next here. It'll be exciting. It will. Stay tuned. And if you want all of Jacob's recipes, including this one, we'll have them at CILiving.tv.